YouTube. Welcome back to Grim Tutelage. Today's we got something special. This one's gonna be cool. Today we got a birthday bundle battle. We got dinosaurs on the playmat. We're gonna have dinosaurs in the box. Two guys, five packs a piece. Highest converted mana cost total of all the rares and mythics in those packs is gonna win a pre-release kit of the same set. This is gonna be nuts. We've spared no expense. Yeah, welcome back to Jurassic Park. Uh, this one's awesome, man. So, our good buddy in the community, Paz Brown, you guys know him, YouTube channel. Go check it out if you haven't. You're missing out. He hit me up and he said, Yo, man, it's Dr. Cause's birthday. Happy birthday, by the way. Uh, you guys know Dr. Cause. He's in all the MTG groups. Awesome dude. Helps everybody out. I said, That's awesome, Paz. What are you hitting me up for, man? He was like, I want you to do a battle for me, dude. And I don't want anybody to know about it. Like, what? That's crazy. What an awesome idea. So these two guys are going to battle it out. Five packs a piece. Sweet idea. And the winner's going to take home this pre-release kit. So let's see what we can do with that. All right. So pre-release kit is the prize pack. We got this bundle. They're going to split it. Five packs a piece. What an awesome idea. Thanks for including me in this, man. I'm, I'm just stoked you let me film this. Um, happy birthday again, Dr. Cause. 100% Paz Brown's idea. I had nothing to do with this until he told me he wanted me to film it. And uh, this is going to be sick, man. I love this set. This set was so overlooked. There's so many good cards in here. Uh, what is the... we got Zakama, Alenda the Dusk Rose, uh, the Immortal Sun. There's so many good cards in here. So many good cards. Oh, this is back when they still used to include a booklet before they went all cheap on us. So we're going to put Paws on the right. What a dude. Uh, I'm not going to break this open. There's some cool art in there, though. It's pretty sweet. Someone's going to want this whole thing, so I'm going to hold on to it. Man, these things used to come with a booklet. Player's guide. Oh, don't steal. Don't steal. Sneaky. Good security right there. <laughs> Used to show you every card in the set. Man, these were the days. You can go through and check the whole set out. Didn't need spoilers because they did it for you when you bought the product, man. That's cool. Uh, of course, a little box to store everything after you open it. But isn't that what this is for? Sweet, sweet thing here. Uh, I'll figure out who's going to take home this sweet dice and everything else. Um, this is just your average everyday land pack, I think. I'm going to leave it sealed. And then 10 sweet packs of Rivals of Ixalan. Ooh, those are squeaky. I love it. Oh, man, what an awesome battle this is going to be. Pause. I appreciate it. Everybody give me a happy birthday, Dr. Cause, in the, in the comments of this video. Make sure you check out Cause's channel. Er, Cause. <laughs> Pause's channel. Pause Brown. MTG, I think he just added on YouTube. Paws Brown will get you there. He's got a, a dragon for his emblem. What a cool dude. Uh, I had nothing to do with this, this idea again. I want him. I want to make sure. Let's make sure that he has full credit for this, man. I was blown away by this. This is awesome. I'm stoked to open these cards. I want to see what you guys pull. Nothing but beef. Nothing but beef. Here we go. Okay. I got a pen, right? Yep, we do. Uh, wow, that was weird. I didn't even plan that, but they, all, they both got the... Same stack there. Okay. It's Dr. Cause's birthday. We gotta go first to Dr. Cause. Good luck. Cause and pause show. Here we go. Alright, we got a bunch of commons. I'm just gonna saw through them here real quick. Sula oh wait, that's not nope, nope, nope. Evolving Wilds. Okay, okay. Gotta calm down. It's not even my thing here. This is awesome. Alright. Pitiless Plunder, that's a really good uncommon. Golden Demise. Aquatic Incursion. First rare is a Jade Light Ranger for three for Dr. Koss. Um, that Pitiless Plunder, ooh, an OG treasure token, those are cool. Those uh, Pit Pitiless Plunderers, I know are good because I had to buy one for my Corvold deck. 
and they're uh, pretty decently, like two, three bucks at least for an uncommon. A lot of cards and rivals have gone up in value since uh, the set came out and went out of print. Big Daddy's a comma is like, what, 40 bucks, 50 bucks? Quite spendy. All right, Blazing Hope. Daring Buccaneer. Another Golden Demise. And this one. Radiant Destiny for a foil rare. That's sick. All right. That's a three drop. That'll put you at six. Ooh, and then we got like this, uh, one of these weird, I forget what these are called, the uh, the marker cards, but uh, any of these are good. For Hadana's Climb. All right. That's cool. So that's another three. That'll put you at nine. And another treasure token. Okay. Okay. So we're at nine for Dr. Cos. We haven't hit any big stuff yet. The foil rare is pretty cool, though. That's not going to lie about that. Um, yeah, we got to see some dinos, man. I promised Jurassic Park. Pause, I hope you're loving this, dude. Pause has been wanting to open some some stuff for a while here. This is, uh, this is a, a sneaky good set he was talking about on his live stream. Spell from Araska. And a release to the wind. All right, another three drop, full of threes here. So this is a 12. And a City's Blessing. Oh, yeah, that's a cool mechanic, too. Ascend. And the, the Dino Tribal is pretty sweet in EDH. I run a uh, Gishath deck. Um, be doing a deck wreck on that eventually. I know Paws has as a comma deck. Dinos are fun. They are. All right, last pack for Birthday Boy. Before we get... Ooh, Ravenous Chupacabra. That's another good one. Thrashing Bronodon's not bad either. And he gets a... Tylenoli... Tylenoli? Tylenoli? Tylenoli. <laughs> Tylenol Jones! Uh, Tylenoli Summoner. A two drop. So that'll put you at 14. We'll do a double check. Because I can't count half the time. Let's do a double check for Dr. Cause. We got two, five, eight. 11, 14 for Dr. Cause before we hit that last pack for drama. All right, 14, no big dinos. That's going to leave it open for pause. We shuffled. You guys saw it. Here we go. All right, frilled. Running through them. Ooh. Enter the unknown. Okay. All right. Pitiless Plunder again. Oh, you guys are hitting those left and right. That's awesome. That's a value value card for sure. Sadistic Sky Marcher. Here we go. Crafty Cut Purse for rare number one for pause. That'll put them at four. The Dinosaur Token in the back. All right. Just a little bit of dino action. Uh, for Rivals, this is a little light on dinos. All it takes is one to just throw the cost, you know, the mana cost way up there. I was expecting much higher. Um, here we go. Right, another pitiless plunder. Wow, this thing is just full of those. Okay. Riverwise Augur, Stormfleet Sprinter. All right, pause. Rare number two. What do you got? Ooh, it's an artifact. Could it be a mythic. Ah, oh, Captain's Hook. It's hoping for the Immortal Sun there. Uh, Captain's Hook for three. That'll put you at seven. The Mountain and a Merfolk. All right. Two more to go before that last pack drama. Oh, this is this is cool. I'd never done one of these before with a little little small battles like this. First timer here. <laughs> Long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm in a good mood. How could you not be, man? This is an awesome thing. All right, pause. Legion Lieutenant, that's a good one, too. Forerunner of the Coalition, here we go. Oh, he gets an Azur the Lawbringer for the Mythic. That's a six drop. So you were at seven, so that puts you at 13. Ooh, all right. 
with Hadana's Climb. Or Hadana's Climb. <laughs> it's the first name on there. As is a Lawbringer. I don't know what that's worth, but uh, that puts you at 13, Paws. Here we go. Another pack. What's the land cycle in Rivals? I do not remember. Okay, here we go. All right, Jungle Creeper. Ugh. For your first uncommon on this one. Woodland Stream. Okay, so there's your land cycle. Just tapped. Just dual lands come in tapped. Reaver Ambush. All right. And this one's got a foil, I think. Nope. Mastermind's Acquisition. Also not a bad card. Let you choose a... Grab a card from your library and put it into your hand. Or... A card from outside the game and put it into your hand, which is kind of strange. That's a four, so that's going to put you up to 17. 17 for pause with a vampire token at the end there. All right. We'll run through there and double check that real quick. We got a four. Six, that puts you at ten. Three, and seven. Seven with a mythic for pause, or 17 with a mythic for pause. <laughs> All right, last pack for Dr. Cause. Good luck and one last happy birthday, man. Show us a mythic right here. Big Zakama foil. No? Maybe. I will that into existence. Ooh, this, this pack is full of dinos already. I just seen two or three of them. Okay. For all the marbles, we got Forsaken Sanctuary. Strength of the pack. Okay, and it's already dino centric. Show us the Brass Bounty, though. Brass's Bounty's good as well. Uh, and it's a 7-drop, dude. Coming in for a 7-dropper for... Ooh. Whew. Okay. Okay, 7-dropper. Brass's Bounty. That'll put him at 21. Ooh, he has a foil. Oh, it's not a rare, though. Frilled Dinosaur. With the marker card and a Sapperling token. Okay. Okay. The 7-dropper, though, putting cause at 21. Making up a lot of ground there. Ooh, this one's gonna. This is a good battle. All right, pause, dude. I I thought you were gonna be. Uh, this one might be in the bag, and then he hit you with the seven, dude. What are you gonna do? Ooh, that one had some dinos in it too early on. All right, we got the horn swoggle. Are you about the horn swoggle cause out of the wind? Reckless rage. A baffling end. Oh, dude, this 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 thing's just telling it. I don't even have to say anything but read. All right. Four to tie, five to win. Here we go. Oh, it's a three. That'll put you at 20, dude. But, oh, Plum, it's not a rare. That's going to put you at 20, pause. Oh, the city's blessing. What a battle that was, dude. Holy cow. All right. 20 for pause, unofficial. Obviously, if I screw this up, we'll go through it in the con or in the uh, in the post and um, fix it. But I don't think we, we screwed it up. We got three, seven, ten, six, twenty. Twenty for pause. One last time we got brass's bounty for seven, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. 21 for Dr. Cause. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Dr. Cause, man, that's what's up. All right, bro, here we go. Show us the goods in the pre-release kit. Awesome battle pause. Sick prize. Sweet birthday present, too, man. <laughs> really thoughtful of you, bro. Again, Paws Brown, MTG, on YouTube. Check him out. He has Discord, Facebook group, everything, man. You guys make sure to go hit that. I will get with you guys to figure out who's getting what dice. This one's red. So we got a red and a green. All right. So this one actually comes with four Ixalan, or two Ixalan and four rivals. So let's hit the Ixalan first. Was it, was it, did it literally go Ixalan and Rivals, or was it Ixalan that's set in between and then Rivals? 
I don't remember because honestly, I was one of the people that thought this set was bad when it came out. I liked all the vampires, so I bought them singles. Here we go, guys. Ixalan pack number one. You want growing rights of Itlamok out of here. I know that. And Gishath. Deep Root Waters. Dark Nourishment. Dead Eye Tracker for your rare, dude. All right. Swamp and Plant. All right. Pack number two. Here we go. Lookouts Dispersal. Ooh, Vicious Conquistador. That's a good one. I use that in the Edgar Markov deck. Chart of Course and Last Rare from Ixalan. Herald of Secret Streams. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Island and a Merfolk. All right, cool. Let's get back into some rivals here. There's got to be a Mythic, right? Pre-release kits all have one Mythic. And this one, could it be a Lenda? Could it be Zakama? What's it going to be? I can't believe we got three pitiless plunderers out of one freaking bundle. That was nuts. Okay. Baffling end. Sadistic Sky Marcher and Admiral's Order. All right. With an island and a sap. You're such a sap. Okay. Show us the goods, rivals. We got one mythic. We need another. Stormfleet Swashbuckler. Hornswoggle, oh sworn vampire. What do we got? Ooh, it's white. Temple Altasaur. All right, cool. Let's move it on over to the T Rex cage, though. You know, the three headed one, maybe. I'll take a Polyraptor, even. <laughs> Goblin Trailblazer starting this one off. We even got goblins in here. Goblins and pirates and vampires. Merfolk. Forsaken. This one had it all, dude. Dinos. Jeez. All right. No wonder we thought this set was ridiculous. Here we go. Brass's Bounty again. Dude. All right. For each land you control, create a colorless treasure artifact token with, you know what treasures do. Ah, River Darter. Double tap on the Brass's Bounty. I don't know what that's going for these days, but I bet you it's still up there. Or, or I'm completely wrong. <laughs> the options are limitless. All right, last pack in the pre-release kit before we flip over that promo and see what we got. Pirate's Pillage. Ravenous Chupacabra. One more time. Here we go. For all the marbles, be the mythic that we need it to be. Ooh. Oh. So I think you want uh, Journey into Eternity? Maybe for this one or Azur's Gateway. I'm not sure which one's worth more these days. I think Journey into Eternity is still like eight, nine bucks. Be Storm the Vault. Okay. Storm the Vault's not bad. And a City's Blessing. Very cool, very cool. And we're at the 17 minute mark. Show us the Path of Discovery. All right. Not bad. I don't see anything crazy. Uh, there's no crazy misprints or anything like that. Pretty cool card, though. Uh, every time something comes into the bat, uh, creature enters the battlefield under control, it explores. Reveal the top card of your library. Put that card into your hand if it's a land. Otherwise, put a 1-1 counter on a creature, or on that creature, and then put a car the card back or into your graveyard. Uh, it's a wall of text. But it's a good card. I ran it a couple decks. That was a sweet battle. Uh, no huge hitters, but still... Got to be happy with it. Got to be happy with it. One last happy birthday to Dr. Cause, Mr. Paz Brown. Awesome video. Awesome idea. Uh, I'll get with you guys and figure out who's shipping what to where. Awesome stuff, man. Congrats. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.